uh, Chair Maka from First Academy from Lagos, Timothy from Maltu, Emmanuel from Lokoja. Good to see all of you and thank you for joining us. Yeah, big thank you, thank you everybody for joining. Okay, so uh, once again, I may not be as as um, as engaging, as uh, energetic as my normal self. Okay, like I said, I probably should be at home resting as I just removed my teeth. Um, but honestly, for me, I promise you guys that I have to be here. Um, yes, the truth is that the training is free, but uh, I take my words seriously. If I promise that I'm going to do a training, no matter what I'm going to do, uh, my best to see that the training hold. Okay, so we just have to still go ahead with this training because you will just uh, not be fair to many of you who have been expecting the training to cancel it. I wasn't even sure the two to be removed. Right, so, but the dentist advice, I just removed it, that it was gonna take 10 minutes and actually, barely 10 minutes they were done. So I needed to do it. I wanna say a big thank you and happy Thanksgiving to all of you um, who are based in the US. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, even those of us in Nigeria who don't really celebrate Thanksgiving, I think Nigeria should find a way to start celebrating Thanksgiving. That you and your family are alive is worth thanking God for. Um, and honestly, uh, for me, this year is a bigger year to thank God uh, more and find reason to glorify the Father. Men that you are alive. I, I said it, if you are alive to see the end of this year, you just have no excuse. Just thank God that you are alive because a lot of people are dead. Uh, queer from Lagos, Dolapo from Lagos, um, King David from Abuja. I see all of you and thank you for joining us. Uh, Bessie from Port Harcourt, you're welcome. And yes, don't look for the teeth that was removed. I know some of you, <laughs> like a humorously said, that some of you will join this training today just to try to see my teeth that was removed, okay? But I'm not gonna give you, <laughs> I'm not gonna give you that satisfaction to see the teeth that was removed, okay? You will not see it. By the grace of God, my teeth is gonna be covered and nobody will see the teeth that was removed. Except, the, I mean, nobody will see the empty space, okay? But you can see the teeth itself, this is it. But you ain't gonna see the, I make sure I, I don't laugh too much that you see the gap that it has created. But if you're ready for today's class, type, I'm ready, I'm ready, everybody. If you're ready for today's class, can you type, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. So we started um, on Tuesday and Wednesday I had so many other engagements. So we had to say today's the day we will wrap up. I have three, four guests that will, or three guests that will join me today. I have guys. Guys is a, a Bitcoin expert who will be joining me also today. I have my old Abi, he joined me on Tuesday. I have Toby Okunuga who also joined me on Tuesday. Today we'll focus on Forex, then I'll bring the three of them on board. And we'll discuss both forex and cryptocurrency. Last time, and if you missed the last session, please visit my YouTube channel at Steven Akintao TV on YouTube. Can everybody help me type it at Steven Akintao on YouTube? Go there and you will find the part one of this training. We went deep into, into what cryptocurrency is went deep into how cryptocurrency work and how you should protect yourself when investing in cryptocurrency. So for all of you who are here, please share this link uh, and let's get everybody in here. I promise you, this is really, really a life-changing training. 
that everybody needs to be part of. One of the reasons why I decided to do this training is the rate of, of, of um, and honestly, the rate at which people commit suicide as a result of investing in a high risk investment that eventually didn't go the way people plan. And I feel that one of the reasons why that happened is that people go into these things without adequate knowledge, without adequate mentorship, without adequate information as to how to treat high risk investment. Uh, so in the part one, I remember giving four rules. Rule number one, never put all your money into a high risk investment, never. No matter what happened, no matter how, and I'm talking of even when the high risk investment is, is working, don't ever put all your money in high risk investment. Don't do that. It is wrong. It does not make any sense to do it. No matter how profitable that investment is, never put all your money. Number two thing I told you um, last time, divide your investment to three, high risk, mid risk, and, and uh, low risk. So that, that way you spread all your investment into three places. So even when you lose out of the high risk investment, you, are, you have so less in the fact that you've kept some other money into mid and low risk. So you don't lose every money um, at once. Very important. I also shared, and this is very important, that you must have a financial mentor okay, before going to high risk investment and also have a business mentor in that particular business you're doing. So for example, there are two different things I'm talking about here. Again, if you're enjoying this class type, I'm enjoying it. Guys, engage me. If you're enjoying this type, I'm enjoying this. So what I'm saying here, so that I can be very clear, is that number one, if you are doing this, the URL is not at Steven Akita, it's at Steven Akita TV. TV is there. My, the YouTube channel for you to watch the part one of this training is at Steven Akita TV. So my name, then you add TV to it. That's where you will find it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and you'll be able to watch what I taught in part one. So very important, guys. Um, there are two things I'm talking about here. You have somebody we call uh, a business mentor. In other words, if you are going into Forex, have somebody who has made money in Forex. Not that they are teaching Forex. They have made money in Forex. That will show you how to go about investing in Forex. If you want to go into cryptocurrency, find somebody that there's evidence that they've made money in cryptocurrency. So that will then be your cryptocurrency mentor, your Forex mentor. That is one part. Then you also now need to have what we call an investment mentor. Now your investment mentor is different. What your investment mentor do is that your investment mentor is able to help you, um, give you counsel. So when you come to them and say, I just saw this high risk investment, or I just saw this low risk investment, or I just saw this mid risk investment, the person is able to say, oh, this is how such investment are handled. Somebody who understand how to make, how to manage and how to multiply money. You also need that person. If you don't have all these categories of people in your life and you begin to carry money, put into all this investment today, investment tomorrow, you will definitely get your hands burnt. And no matter how much you cry or you complain and you say people are devil, it does not change that the fact that you've made a, a childish and wise decision. Okay? Are you learning? If you are learning type, I'm learning. So these are very, very important principles that guide high risk investment. So if you are ready for today's class, can everybody type, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay? Type, I'm ready, I'm ready. So today we'll focus more on Forex. Okay? Forex is a business of trading currencies, okay? It's a business of trading currencies. I'm Dr. Stephen Akita, Africa's most sought after investment coach. I'm a pre, uh, premier digital marketing consultant. 
and the CEO of GTES Global. Uh, I've also invested in, you know, connecting with role models and mentors. Uh, and my rule for picking role models and mentors is success. I only pick you as my mentor if you have results in what you are trying to teach me. This is one of my role models. I flew all the way from Nigeria to um, Florida to meet him. He's done over $6 billion in transaction. Can everybody type $6 billion in transaction? Why is he one of my role models? <laughs> I want to make money in billions. Um, I've done in billions of Naira, but I'm tired of Naira. And 2021, I'm going real hard. I, all our companies are going to start charging in dollars from 2021. I know I'll get backlash, but let me tell you the truth. Building a business model that is based on Naira mess you up big time. So we're benchmarking for our real estate in dollars. Uh, and as soon as dollar front moves higher, our uh, prices for our property moves higher. Because sometimes you think you have a lot of money. And what happened, look at Dangote. Dangote was worth over $20 billion. And in the last six years, his wealth has reduced to $10 billion. 50% of Dangote's money has been wiped out just because he was trading in Nigeria Naira rather than in dollars. Okay, so I only pick mentors because they are successful in what they are trying to teach me and there's evidence that they've done it. Let me play a short video uh, where this man was endorsing me as, and advising people to listen to me as a result of a few things yeah, we got to discuss and he was convinced about the impact that this director coaching and mentorship is doing in the life of people in Africa and of course, beyond. Uh, he's the founder of Fumo. What's up to all the students in Stephen Akintayo's class? I just wanna say, let him keep coaching you. Hopefully he's putting you on the right track. I just met the man, I think he's amazing. What's up? Yeah, hello, David. Hey, awesome. There Perfect. you go. All right, get focused. Yeah. So how many of you agree that when somebody who has done transaction to the tune of $6 billion is endorsing you, you are endorsed. <laughs> if you think that's true, just type endorsed, endorsed, endorsed. Everybody, just type endorsed, endorsed, endorsed. So um, this year, we've, by the grace of God, we've, we've uh, distributed, um, impacted um, over 12 million that has been given away, either in form of this is 5 million we gave distributed during COVID-19. Uh, to help people in Adjugunle, in IDP camps in Medugu, I was born in Medugu. And, and we also gave out another 7 million in grants to small businesses. And the reason is because I believe God gives you wealth so that you can add value to humanity. If you agree, type I agree. The reason God blesses you and I is so that you can add value to humanity. You need to be able to add value. It's not just about you and your family. You make money whose life is touched. Whose life is touched. And for me, this is why I do what I do. It's about touching lives. Um, even as we are now, we have over 200 people watching us both on Facebook, on YouTube, and here on webinar. And by the time we're done, and by the end of by tomorrow, we'll have had over 10,000 people who will have watched this particular training. For me, that is how life works. Are you living a life that is adding value to humanity or is just all about you? So as we seek to earn and to make money and to build wealth, let's not forget that it shouldn't be just because of us and our family. We should reach out, that's my wife, leading the team during COVID. This was in March or is it early April. In Adjegunia, we were feeding people and that over, over 200 families were, were impacted by this. I don't know if you think this is cool. If you think it's cool, type is cool. I want you to type this. I know it's a vow. I see a Kitaya vow that if God bless me with money, I will touch lives. I want everybody to type that because I made this vow years ago when I was still ravaging in poverty and really struggling. I told God, if you bless me, now, I'm not Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I can't help everybody 
I can't change everybody's life. But I told God, if you bless me, I vow to touch lives. And I want everybody to type that because God is here and he's watching you. And if you're genuine with your request, he will trust money in your hands because I believe God trusts money in people's hands if he knows they will be distributors. Okay, if you agree, type I agree. And I want you to type, of course, your vow to God. A um, couple of months ago, I officially was awarded a doctorate degree uh, in science and in the field of real estate. I thought somebody would say congratulations, okay? And in fact, that day was, I think, three awards. So I'm now Dr. Steven Akintayo, and I appreciate the university that did this. Um, again, it's part of how you know that people are watching. I don't know the, the school from anywhere. They just send us a mail that they are honoring us with a doctorate degree. So it's, it's people are watching. When you are changing lives, you're adding value. People are watching um, ultimately. So if you're ready for today's class, can you type, I'm ready, I'm ready. Everybody type, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. The vast majority of forex trading is purely speculative in nature with 90% of forex trading falling into that category. The, there was a time that forex could only uh, be conducted okay, by banks and, and financial institutions that held at least $40 million in liquid funds. Those days are distant memories as trading can be done uh, and can be conducted by individual traders with far less liquid. In fact, with as low as $1,500, you can start trading Forex, unlike what it used to be. The Forex trading market is an internationally decentralized financial market whereby one currency is exchanged for another. The Forex market is the largest, most liquid market in the world with an average trading value that can be trillions of dollars per day. It includes all the currencies in the world. Uh, uh, the Forex exchange market is often referred to as Forex or FX, uh, spot FX or plainly spot. Now, historically, only large financial institutions, corporations, central banks, hedge funds, and extremely wealthy individuals had the resources to participate in Forex market. However, now, with the emergence of popularized uh, of the internet and mainstream computing technology, it is possible for an average investor to buy and sell currencies with the click of a mouse from the comfort of their home. The factor that will affect the value of the currency to increase or decrease are uh, supply and demand for of these two specific currencies that will be involved in the conversion process. Okay, so let's look at gold standard system. Forex is true, right? Um, the gold standard monetary system was implemented in 1876 before the gold standard was created. Countries will commonly use gold and silver as method of international payment. A country that uses gold standards sets a fixed price for gold and buy and sell gold at that price. That fixed price is used to determine the value of the currency. This was when uh, dollar and several currencies were backed up with gold. And this was, in my own view, when money really was money. What we do now, as far as I'm concerned, is all about speculation, in my own view. Because this was, in my own view, when money was real. And uh, now it's just paper that everybody's carrying around and thinking that they have real money. Example uh, is the era of gold standard system before the World War I. Uh, One dollar, okay, was, um, you know, 20 odds, right? To be uh, more precise, one odds was equals to $20.67. Britain stopped using gold standard in 1931, and the US abandoned the system in 1971. And this, for me, 
was when money became useless. Okay, in my own opinion, and these are my own opinion now. When money, they stopped backing money with, with gold, in my own view, money became useless, in my own opinion. Uh, so let's look at Bretton's Woods Agreement. Before the end of World War II, the Allied nations believed that there would be need to set up a new financial system. In July 1944, 44 countries sent uh, delegates to the conference held in Bretton's Woods, New Hampshire, to deliberate over what will be called the Bretton's Woods system of international monetary management. To sim simplify, Bretton rule led to the formation of the following. One, a method of fixed exchange rate. Two, the US dollar replacing the gold standard to become a primary reserve currency and the creation of two international agencies to oversee economic activities, right? That is the International Monetary Fund called the IMF, International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Uh, how many of you are learning? Let me be sure I'm not boring you guys. Are you learning from this class? If you're learning, type I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. I'll be sure I'm not boring you. Uh, okay, guys, if you're learning, can you type, I'm learning, uh, there's value. Come on, talk to me. Okay, if you're learning, type, I'm learning. Oh, good, good, good. I can see everybody say they're learning. Um, oh, beautiful, great. So good, let's continue the lecture. Uh, please engage me. Remember, I told you I'm still in pain. I just removed my tooth. And, um, but the more you engage me, it's a, it's a mental thing. My mind forget that there's any pain. And I'm engaged in this. So engage me in this conversation. And remember to get everybody in here because these are life-changing classes. So how do I get started? Okay, in the Forex business. To get started in trading Forex, um, you know, all you need is computer with high speed internet connection, a funded Forex account and a trading system. These three simply simple things are enough to get started in Forex trading. Okay. Um, let's look at, I don't want to lose money. In order for you to minimize the risk of losing money, you need to have some basic knowledge in charting before you start trading. In most Forex trading system, Forex charts are there to assist you with your trades, okay? Forex charts are a visual uh, representation of the exchange rates uh, of the currencies. Now, basic concept uh, of trends, right? Three direction of trends. One, uptrend. An uptrend is made up of ascending peaks and, and trough, high, uh, higher highs or lower lows, or higher lows, okay, higher highs or lower lows. Two, downward trend. Now, up, downward trend um, is made up of descending peaks and troughs, lower highs and lower lows. Number three, you have sideways trends, consolidations. Consolidation is when price moves sideways in horizontal range, okay? So three lengths of trends, long-term primary and major trends. Periodic periodicity, uh, more than a year time frame, um, monthly charts. Also, you have the medium-term intermediate trends. Uh, periodicity, three weeks, uh, to as many months as a weekly chart. Now you have short term minor trends and anything less than two weeks or three weeks and that time um, you have daily charts in this particular uh, situation. So please note, like I said, um, what I'm doing is to help us understand basic knowledge about what is Forex, what is cryptocurrency. And then we have three gentlemen 
who will later come and even share more light as to how you need to get started. And the reason for this is because most of you watching me are newbies in this, okay? And let's even do a confirmation so that it's not as if I'm just assuming. How many of you are new in this? Okay, if you are new type, I'm new, I'm new, I'm new. How many of you are new to uh, Forex or cryptocurrency? If you're new type, I'm new. Uh, I'm new still involve anybody who <laughs> hasn't done a good number of success in this yet. Gaius, for example, uh, and by the way, new is a function of your success also. <laughs> Gaius has done about, I think, 100,000 worth of Bitcoin, and probably today is worth over 100 million naira, that particular Bitcoin. So, someone like Gaius can say he's new, even if he started Bitcoin day before yesterday. Result, they say terminating so. So, even if you say you have been trading for 20 years and you don't have results, then don't tell us you are an expert, okay? Result, they say, terminating so. So I can see most of us say we are new. So you agree with me that these basic primary conversations are needed as it helps us to have good foundation in this whole business world. And many people who are already trading don't even have basic understanding and that's where the problem is, okay? So base and quote currencies, um, in Forex, the base currency represents how much of the code currency is needed for you to get one unit of the base currency. For example, if you are looking for uh, looking at the um, euro versus USD currency pair, the euro will be the base currency and the US dollars will be the code currency. So in this case, you buy euro, you sell uh, USD. Do you see now? So uh, I hope this is very clear so you can see how this works. Okay, so Euro, your base, your code is what? Is USD. So it's showing you right now that when you exchange, you are getting $1.0067. And that will be the exchange you'll be getting. So buy, stop. Stop, buy, order are useful when the investor believes, e.g., with the help of a technical or fundamental analysis that it is the markets, uh, market reaches a certain level of price, which is above the current level, then to go further up. So buy stop, in other, other place above price and price keeps going up. So we can see in the chart here, your buy stop uh, enter ahead of time to enter long if break or call. So you see here, um, expect to move higher. You can see also you have the sell stop. Sell stop or that are useful when the investor believes I, e.g. with the help of a technical or fundamental analysis that if the market reaches a certain level of price, which is below the current level there to go further down. So you see here, uh, the sales stop in uh, the chart there. Okay, pending order. So buy limit. Buy limit order are useful when the investor believes, e.g., with the help of a technical or fundamental analysis that if the market reaches a certain level of price, which is below the currency, then it will go up. Okay, then sell limits. A uh, sell limit order are useful when the investor believe with the help of a technical fundamental analysis that if the market reaches a certain level with, which is above the current level then to go down. So again, we can see these are all terminologies that are very good that you know and you are conversant with if you, know, you are trying to go into uh, trading Forex. Now, top 10 golden Forex trading rules. So let's look into that and we can start um, more, go further into getting our guests to start discussing a few things with us. Now, anyone who starts their journey in Forex trading must know that there, there is no shortcut uh, in profitable trading. You must trade 
uh, a proven forex trading strategy over and over so that across a series of trade, the strategies work well enough to produce overall profit. Get to know some important forex trading rules. Always use a trading plan. Now, a trading plan is a, is a written set of rules that specifies a trader's entry, exit, and money management criteria for every purchase. Test a trading idea before risking real money. This practice allows you to apply your trading ideas using historical data and determine if it is vi vi viable. Once a plan has been developed, tested to show good result, the plan can then be used in real time. Number two rule, do not risk more than 5% of your capital per trade. This one, I want everybody to type it. Everybody, can you type it? Do not risk more than 5% of your capital per trade. Everybody here type that. Let me even stop the screen because these are very important fundamental issues. I always get angry when people lose money in high risk investments to a point where they lose everything, okay? And I always get conversation like, Mr. Steve, you won't believe it, I've lost everything. That gets me mad because it's never supposed to happen. It's a high risk investment. You are never supposed to risk more than 5% of your capital per trade. You see people get greedy, put everything in, and then they lose it. I mean, how can somebody, for example, have a capital of five billion naira and come out and tell us that they've lost the entire five billion naira? How? How? Who does that? Okay, who does that? This, this uh, is, is crazy, right? It's crazy, but... And this is what then leads to issues that, I mean, I've seen all manner here, all manner. People having to have brought their family members money, sold their father inheritance, put it in forest, lose everything, then go and dip into the ocean, right? Then go commit suicide. These are why. These are the reasons why, because we don't obey the rules. We don't obey the rules that guarantee success. Okay, we take foolish risk uh, in the name of, I, I call it greed, just pure greed. Okay, pure greed. Having proper risk management means to trade within your account size. A general rule of thumb is to risk no more than 5% of your capital. We cannot win 100% of all our trades as we do not have 100% control of the market. This is a game of almost a huge, huge. All this, whether we're doing Forex, whether we're doing cryptocurrency, is technically a huge, huge. It's a game is as good as gambling. If there is no guarantee to always work, you can win, you can lose. Again, if you are enjoying this class type, I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. Come on, everybody talk to me. If you're enjoying type, I'm enjoying it. So if you, don't, if you do not limit your risk or, or keep your trading size consistent, you can lose all your winnings for the, for the past months in a single trade or worse, get margin calls for a single trade that you have over, you know, uh, over leveraged. Okay, so um, though many trading strategies require different risk management, a swing trader may uh, trade lots, uh, smaller lots or, uh, compared to um, scale. Let me see, something's blocking. Okay, compared to scalper, for example. So it all depends on your trading style. But I will advise keep to this one, not more than 5%. Number three, if you're ready for number three, type I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Come on, everybody. If you're ready for number three, type I'm ready, I'm ready. Invest in solid Forex education. Number three are uh, rules, okay, of trading. Invest in solid Forex education, like the one you are in. But it goes beyond these free trainings, right? I, I, 
a lot of times I laugh when people always want everything free. Listen, everything of value will cost you something. We have a coaching program we have put together. Uh, Toby Okunuga, my whole lab is going to be there. Can they get my wife for me? Let him join us now. My wife is going to be there. We also host guys to, as a guest trainer where they will spend two hours one-on-one -on -one with you guys and put you through. These are guys who do this every day. I don't trade every day. I'm a realtor. I believe in real estate and real estate is what I trust. Okay? But the truth is that these are also sources of making wealth and there's nothing wrong doing them and that's why i am teaching this personally okay but you need more than just this two hour free training you need proper mentorship you need proper coaching and it will cost you money it's ten thousand dollars i charge i will give some of you today an opportunity to join for just a thousand dollars um but that's it any other time you reach out to me, you have to pay the normal price. And um, two of my mentees, um, Mayo Olabi and Toby Okunuga, will be with you. And of course, uh, um, Gaius too will come one of these days to share with you guys how to succeed in this either Forex or cryptocurrency, okay? So how many of you are excited about the coaching program? If you're excited, type, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. So invest in Forex education, in real education. Now, this is where I feel people messed up. Um, and, and I want to be very blunt here. It does not make sense to me for you to go and give your money to somebody to be trading Forex for you when you have not tried it yourself. It does not make sense to me. Because if the person loses your money, then you begin to claim victim. Why not try, okay, trading, even if it's a passive trading, even if it's once a month, so that you understand it. If you now still feel comfortable having a third party do it, you can. Because what I have seen with people who have told me, I have somebody who lost over 150 million to Forex. I have another one. He lost over 250 million era to Forex. Right, And these are people who to, till today, they have not even mentally, psychologically recovered from those losses. And when I asked them what happened, they gave the money to somebody else. Guys, it doesn't make sense. I would rather learn how to trade Forex. And even if I'm going to now engage somebody, at least I know what I'm doing. I know what the process is. I may just even get somebody too with instructions right, to be managing my trade. But to carry all your money and just give to somebody, and you don't even understand the business. I have, there's nothing wrong with asking people to help you. But when you don't even understand the business in itself, and yet you go and give all your money to somebody, you are the one that is greedy. Guys, if you agree with me, type I agree. If you don't agree, of course you can type I don't agree. You are free, it's a free world. You have the right to agree or disagree with me. But again, do you agree that these are important things to consider? Do not go and give your money to somebody to help you trade Forex when you don't have a clue what trading is all about. It doesn't make any sense to me. You can give me your excuses from now to tomorrow, but it is bullshit. You should know at least what this thing is about. You should at least have traded once in a while to know how this thing works. Do you agree, again? So knowledge is power. We all know that. Think of, uh, uh, of it as continuing, continuing education. Traders need to remain focused on learning more each day. It's important to remember that understanding the market and all of their uh, intricacies is an ongoing lifelong process. War politics, news event, economic trends, events of the weather, all have impacts on the market. The market environment is dynamic and the more traders understand the past and the current market, the better prepared they are for the future. Okay, number four, if you're ready, for
for number four, type number four, number four, everybody. Number four, I want to type number four. Control your emotions. Oh, <laughs> this is probably one of the best. Control your emotions. Hey, control your emotions. I have seen situations where people lose money and then the quest to recover up, right? Cover up, make it back. They then make the most bloodiest blunder. Then keep sinking in and going deeper and deeper and deeper. Another key rules in Forex business is to always control your emotions. Emotions are bad in the Forex business because the market is quite disappointing most times. So if you are someone who reacts passionately when hit by disappointment does, you can easily lose track and lose your money. In the Forex trading business, you need to always uh, be pragmatic and ready to follow logic. Does this make sense? If it makes sense, type, it makes sense. Okay, guys, talk to me. If it makes sense, type, it makes sense. Number five, type number five, you are ready for number five. Number five, always use you know, stop loss. Always use a stop loss. A stop loss is the determined amount of risk that a trader is willing to accept with each trade, okay? Not having a stop loss is bad practice, even if it leads to winning trade. As eating with a good, with a stop loss and therefore, having a losing trade is still good trading if it falls within the trading plan rule. The ideal is to exit all trade with a profit, but that is not realistic, okay? Using a protective stop loss help to ensure that losses and risk are limited. Remember one of who uh, knows one of Warren Buffett's um, laws. Who knows one of Warren Buffett's uh, laws when it comes to money and investment? If you know, type it. Okay? Who knows? One of Warren Buffett's rules when it comes to money and investment. Anybody? If you just type the rules, if you remember. Warren Buffett has uh, um, rules when it comes to investment. Who remembers? Warren Buffett's laws and rules. Never lose your capital. God bless you all. Never lose your capital. And if a sage like Warren Buffett is telling you that is the powerful rule, you better listen. You better listen. Okay? Rule number one, never lose your money. Rule number two, don't forget rule number one. That is a powerful statement by Warren Buffett. Okay? Uh, Gaia says, buy when they are fearful, sell when they are greedy. <laughs> okay, you see, these are powerful principles that we need to take very, very seriously. And the more we take them seriously, the better we will do in this high risk kind of business model. Because don't ever forget each time that this is a high risk business model and when we say high risk it means you can lose everything you know in one swap number six try to learn from your mistakes it's easy to feel discouraged when you start losing losing money and you might even want to throw in the tower the best traders use their mistakes and teach uh teaching teaching moments and move from there there have been horror stories about billionaires, traders losing tons of money because um, the mistake, but they didn't give up. So neither should you. In fact, recently Warren Buffett invested in a particular company and it was a bad investment. It was a very bad investment. He even say, said it, that he made a mistake in that investment. Number seven, can everybody type seven, 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 everybody type seven. Practice first. Can everybody type it? I want you to type number seven rule. Practice first. Practice first. How many of you know the game of golf? Okay. How many of you have ever played the game of golf? I want you to type practice first. But if you have ever played the game of golf, type yes. If you have not, type no. 
How many of you have ever played the game of golf? If you have, type yes. If you've never, type no. In the game of golf, okay, so many of you have never. Please learn how to start playing game of golf. It's for rich people. And even if you are not rich yet, remember, you dress for where you are going and not for where you are. So you have no business looking poor, even if you are currently poor. Remember, you dress for where you are going, not where you are. Since wealth is where you are going, riches is where you are going, wealth is where you are going, why not dress like one? Does that make sense? So in the game of golf, one of the powerful rules is you practice first. You must, before you hit the ball, you take your practice swing. Okay, your practice swing is what we call it in the game of golf. You must take your practice swing. After you take your practice swing, then you approach the ball and then you hit it. That is the rule. And the same thing with the, game, with, with, with the business or investment of Forex, okay? In trading Forex, you learn to practice first. It's a powerful principle that helps you to do well. Number eight, okay? Everybody type number eight. Keep a trading journal. Everybody, can you type it? Number eight is keep a trading journal. I feed off your energy, guys. I need your energy here. I told you I just removed my tooth and I'm in serious pain, but I feed off your energy. So if you engage me, you know, uh, my energy keeps surging, right? So number eight, keep a trading journal. Traders that keep a trading journal write down everything about the trade they have made, not only technical data like entry and exit price, but personal reasons why they made the trade and other factors. Over time, this can really give you insight into your own personal habits. And if there is anything you need to change about yourself and your strategy, if this makes sense, can you type, it makes sense, it makes sense. Number nine, because of time, okay, keep, the profitability in your favor. Keep the profitability in your favor. Keep the profitability in your favor is to always ensure your trade has a RRR, risk to reward ratio. Can everybody type it? Risk to reward ratio. Everybody, I want to type risk to reward ratio. That is favorable to you, okay? A risk to reward ratio that is favorable to you is a critical element here. If you have to, if you have a stop loss of 40 pips, but your target is 120 pips, that is one to three risk to reward ratio, which gives you the leeway to lose two extra trades before you can break even. I have known a trader who only wins 35% of his trade, but has consistent profits monthly, okay? Consistent profit what? Monthly. So these are powerful principles that go a long way in helping. This is because his RRR is always many times more than the risk he takes. Does this make sense at all? Okay, if it makes sense, that it makes sense. Number 10, because of time, do not overtrade. The most common misconception among new traders is that they have to constantly be in the market. Wrong. Okay, overtrading is the problem caused by a number of different catalysts. However, the main challenge comes from not knowing what your real strategy is and not being disciplined enough to follow it. Overtrading directly or indirectly has the potential for huge loss, though it may result in, in huge profit also. How many of you are glad about training? If you're glad, type I'm glad, I'm glad. Come on guys, talk to me. If you're glad, type I am glad, I am glad, I am glad. Everybody engage me, type I'm glad. The secret of being successful from trading perspective on dying sorry and unquenchable 
What's wrong with the internet? Unquenchable thirst for information and knowledge, okay? So it's the biggest secret to success. So make sure that you have um, a very strong hunger for knowledge. And I think that's the powerful principle. I've written a book, again, it's more on Forex than, it's more on cryptocurrency than on Forex, but there's a lot you will learn. It's how to manage, how to make manage and multiply the future money call cryptocurrency. I'm hoping that I'm also going to co-author a book with Gaius. Gaius is a young man that has had so much tremendous success in the cryptocurrency world, while Toby and Maiwa are very successful in the Forex world. They're all here today, and they're all going to be helping you to um, share how they've done it, uh, what has helped them. And like I said, we have the coaching program you can join where all of us will be here to help you and to guide you. We do not collect your money. We only guide and mentor and help. In this coaching program, all I do is to be your investment coach. While what Toby and Maya will do is to be your business coach. So in other words, they coach you on how to do the business. And my one is just to tell you which risk is ideal which risk is not ideal, how to spread your resources and not lose all that you have. If you're happy about today's class type, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Come on guys, engage me. How many of you are happy? If you're happy, just type, I'm happy, I'm happy. So here's the detail of the coaching. It's $10,000, uh, but today you have the opportunity to join for just $1,000. If you want to pay Naira, that's just 400000 Naira. Um, once you have paid, please send emails to products at stephenakintyre.com. Your full name, your email, your phone number. And you can also call the office. My, the admin will reach out to you and engage you um, once you have. The number to call is plus 23481 800 -00 -00 Please don't come to my inbox. I joined your coaching. I did this. This is a company, right? Steve Axel Consulting alone has almost 20 staff that work here. So there are processes. You make payment for a product, just follow the process. And there are people to attend to you, right? Just um, send the evidence of payment, email, phone number, and your full name to products at stevenakitayo.com and they will attend to you. Please also know we don't do refunds, okay? So you don't join my coaching program and said the cousin of the in-law of your great-grandmother died and that money was supposed to be used for burial. We don't do refunds, okay? I prefer that one person join this coaching than to have 20 people join who will later be telling me they need a refund. We are not a bank, we don't keep your money. Right, so it's not fair in business for you to choose to do a business and then later to say, I've changed my mind, I need my money back. It doesn't work that way here. So if you are not sure, this is for you. If you are not convinced you want to join the coaching, if you can't even afford it, then you don't need to bother. Life is in phases, men are in sizes. You live your size part-time, okay? You can't do everything. And sometimes some things are good, but not every door is God's door. This is a door, but it may not be God's door for you at this moment. So please, we don't do refunds. You don't need to join this coaching. It's, you are not compelled by any reason to do. But if you are convinced this is the path, then you want to take the risk. After all, high risk investment is all about risk. Okay, all we are doing with the training and the coaching is to minimize your risk. I always tell people, and this is a very powerful statement, I always say this, you can never build wealth if you don't take risk. But you also need to know that one of the ways to mitigate your risk is getting mentors, is getting training, is getting coaching, is getting somebody to put you through and help you and guide you to success. If this has been a life-changing class, can you all type life-changing, 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 life-changing? Come on, everybody. I want you to type it. I told you, type life-changing. Woo, and I think I deserve some round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. 
I never knew I could still bring so much energy despite the pain I'm in as a result of removing my, my molar. I never knew my, this molar was actually a, a baby molar, okay? So they're giving me headaches so I had to remove it today. And whoop, they removed it. Painless, but um, um, it can be a bit um, painful after the anesthesia wears out. Ladies and gentlemen, help me put your hands together for the three musketeers that I have brought to you today as they unmute the audio and video. I have Gaius Chibweze, um, who is an amazing, successful young man based in the UK, um, but uh, has learned a lot from me. He has also joined me in traveling all over the world and doing training. I think COVID even locked him in Rwanda and he's been doing some fantastic stuff. Gaius is, sad. I think, well, let me allow him to say his story. So Gaius, I'm gonna give you about 15 minutes, introduce yourself, how you go into this business and your encouragement and whatever strategy you want to share with my students who you can see 99% uh, new and I just begin to consider this as a business model. Can you unmute your video and go ahead? Gaius, how are you today? I'm fine, sir. Let me turn on my light before I unmute the video. Um, yeah, are you in, um, in the UK or you are stuck somewhere again? Yes, I am. <laughs> I am in the UK. Thank you so much, guys. Can everyone see me? Yeah, we can see you, guys. Okay, okay. thank you so much, uh, 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 Dr. Steven. Uh, it's a pleasure being here. When I got the invite yesterday, I said definitely I have to be. I have to be here. You know, any, anything that concerns you is is always a special case to me. So I have to treat it uh, immediately. So I um, I thank um, everyone that is uh, listening and also watching. Um, you've 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 you, you've talked a whole lot. In fact, you you touched. You know, there is a there is a thin line of connection between uh, the cryptocurrency market and forex. They are just like uh, two, two identical twin brothers, but with different names. So uh, most of the things that you talked about in Forex also applied to the cryptocurrency world, especially when it comes to managing your risk and greed. Uh, there was a time, there was, there was a particular day I had a trade. I started that trade with, uh, with uh, I think uh, $18,000 and it started moving up, started moving up until I had close to uh, $61,000 as uh, both my profit and capital. And one man was telling me to take out the profit, to take out some profit first. I said, no, it might still keep going until I get $100,000. And while, while I was there, just fanning my grid, the market started going north. And before you know it, the 60 something thousand dollars was already coming down to 50 something to 40. And I was still telling myself, instead of me to stop loss, as you referred and exit the market with whatever I had left, I was, I was there until I was thinking it's going to make a retracement. And that was how I even ended up having like $8,000 out of my initial investment. So uh, the cryptocurrency market, it's a wonderful one. For those of you that are seeing me for the first time, my name is Gaius Chibweze. Uh, they actually call me on Instagram where I'm actually uh, uh, more known as a Bitcoin chief. I started my journey in cryptocurrency as far back as 2011, a white guy on Facebook. I used to promote um, an MLM company then. Uh, and, uh, and I met a white guy on Facebook that introduced me to Bitcoin. And when, when he sent me a very short video I watched on YouTube, Bitcoin had gone from $2, from a $2 that, very, that very day that video was done, as the person who was talking on YouTube said, Bitcoin had gone from $2 the previous day, and it was currently at $6. So I looked at it, and one of the lines that catched my attention, that made me to cough out my money immediately to buy some Bitcoin was when he said, there will ever be only 21 million Bitcoin. And the population of the world as at then was over 6 billion. And he said, 
the population will keep growing and the number of Bitcoin will never be increased. So as a first thinker, I thought to myself, I said, wow, if this thing had gone from one cent to whatever it, 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 it was that very day, I say, then there is a possibility of it getting to $1,000. Although some few days ago, Bitcoin went as high as $19,200, I think yesterday, which it is currently retracing uh, this very minute to I think $17,000 or thereabout. So I saw all my, all my plans and target was that if we could even get to $1,000, but all thanks to God, we have seen Bitcoin at $20,000 in 2017 and it's still doing very, very well. So for those of you who are watching for the first time, and if this is your first journey in cryptocurrency, I would say it's a very interesting market. It's one of the, it's, it's, it's uh, Bitcoin was a judge by four. Guys, can you also tell us the first uh, amount you used to buy Bitcoin, the value at the moment of, of that Bitcoin? Okay, so, so in, in 2011, um, I bought Bitcoin in Naira, in Naira then, because I actually bought it with the MasterCard, with one of the different um, GTMX exchange that no longer exists. So in Naira then, it, it was uh, 100,000 Naira that I invested, but that current uh, investment as of today, as of today is worth over, over 100 million Naira. In short, at $18,000, at, uh, at, at $18,000, uh, that investment is worth over 200 million Naira. So that was my first investment in Bitcoin then. So like, uh, like, like, like I was trying to say before, Bitcoin is a very interesting- Wow, wow, wow. That is, <laughs> you see why they call him the Bitcoin chief. Yes. All you guys didn't hear. <laughs> right, um, 2011 till now is like 19 years, a bit nine, nine years, nine years, nine years ago. Somebody put 100,000 naira, and the value as of today is 200 million from 100,000 naira to 200 million. Naira. Over 200 million. Oh, yeah, but let's even yeah. say it's 200,000. I thought you guys would say, Wow, come on, celebrate this guy now, right? Africans need to celebrate people who do well. I mean, I don't. No, to envy people. If you are doing well, I will clap for you. But so, are... so according to Forbes, uh, Bitcoin was actually judged as the best investment of the last decade because Bitcoin was launched in 2009 and it went from one cent in 2009 to $20,000 in 2017. And as of today, it's currently sitting at $17,000 or thereabouts. So looking at it, um, a $1,000 investment in 2009 in Bitcoin today is worth billions of dollars. Let's, 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 let's break it down to the layman uh, understanding. Um, $1 right now is, uh, um, it's a uh, uh, hundred cents makes $1. So let's say today was, let's say we were back to 2009 and we're having this discussion now and you decide to say, okay, uh, Mr. Steven, you've talked so great about this uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. I want to jump on this. I want to buy Bitcoin for one dollar. If this was two thousand and nine, as of today, you will be buying hundred Bitcoin for that um, for that one dollar because Bitcoin started selling at one cent. So, if you were buying hundred dollar, um, if if you were buying one dollar worth of Bitcoin, as of today, you will have a uh, hundred. Bitcoin. So judging by today's rate, you know how much that is that you have. So that's why, uh, according to Forbes, Bitcoin was, uh, according to Forbes and CNBC, Bitcoin was actually judged as the best investment of the last decade, of the last 10 years. So I will summarize here first while we go into the main discussion. I can't really hear you again. Can we one more time celebrate the Bitcoin chief? Everyone clap for him, clap for him. I have also here um, Toby Okunuga. Let's put our hands together as we welcome Toby Okunuga, who is also a Forex expert. Uh, Toby, welcome. Can you unmute yourself and also do your introduction? All right, good evening, sir. Good evening, everybody on this call. 
My name is Toby Okunoga. So I'm going to share my, my Forex story, right? Yes, of course. Yes. Okay. So I started trading Forex uh, 2018, August 2018, uh, with, with the popular Forex trading platform. Um, so I subscribed on the So I started learning. So I did my demo for a while and then I got very, very confident that, man, like, I'm going to make a lot of money with this thing. So, and at that point in time, I wanted to start with big money because I wanted to make big money. I wanted to start with a with thousand dollars. Okay. But I didn't have a thousand dollars at the time to, to start trading Forex. So what I did, which is a major mistake that most people will make in their journey is Forex with a loan. Okay. So what I did was to take a loan uh, of a thousand dollars. So I don't know if you guys know this popular um, loan company in Lagos called Rare Money. So I got a thousand dollars from Rare Money, which is at that time, I think it was about 400K that I borrowed from Rare Money to start trading Forex. And then as an entrepreneur, right, you have to be paying back your money every week. Unlike employees that pay back monthly. If you are doing, if you are like weekly. So I got started, the first week was so interesting that I made about 20% or more profit. So I made like um, over $200 my first week. I was so happy that man, like I'm gonna be a millionaire <laughs> in the next two months. I started checking out product cars that I'll buy. Started checking out houses that I rent. I was so happy. <laughs> So, I mean, next week was funny because I got very, very confident. And then I lost everything. I lost the capital. I lost the profits in one, I think in like two days. If you ask me that, Toby, how did you lose this money? I, I'm not sure I can explain how I lost it, but the money just left my account. So I have blown over 500000 and then I have to pay back that loan. One week now i had a repayment plan for about six months to you know pay that back thankfully i had my business that was running at the time so i was using my business to fund the repayment okay so that was my only saving grace at that point in time okay so it was a journey so at that time i had to go back to study um started studying studying i was i was on that platform for several months paying I think we're paying about 80K every month. So like I paid 80K every month for about six, seven months. Then I started, you know, getting myself together. All right. So, and then being profitable for me, okay, started this year, which is 2020. So since August, 2018 to 2020, I was, I was, I mean, like I blew a lot of accounts. I mean, I, I think I've lost over two million naira trading forex. Trading forex. After I blew that one thousand dollars that I borrowed, after paying back that money, I still put back another money there because I had a business. I, I mean, I blew everything. Now it was, I went on because you know probably I have a very high appetite for risk. So I mean, what I was telling myself is that this forex that I've taken my money. Me too, I must take your money. <laughs> so I just didn't want to stop. Like I wanted to make the money back. So and being profitable for, for me came from, you know, studying, came from getting access to the right information, came from having uh, a plan. Most people that trade Forex, um, Forex is pretty much the, diff the most difficult thing anybody can do. You know, the way a lot of um, trainers proclaim forex they make it look like it's very very easy but trust me forex is you know it can look easy but it's a strong mental battle that you know you have to have, you know overcome it takes high emotional stability and intelligence and of course having a plan of action most people that trade forex don't have a plan okay if you want forex to pay you you have to to you know take it as a business so if you are looking to make five million naira every month or more trading forex are you putting in the kind of ethics 
okay, that you put in your business to make that kind of money on a monthly basis. Most people that start a business as a marketing plan, they have a business plan, they have structures in place. But when it comes to forex trading, you don't have all of those structures in place. You are simply gambling. Okay, so I'll tell people that, you know, pretty much what, what you talked about in your session is having a trading plan, right? So your trading plan should explicitly, okay, talk about your trading strategy, okay? And that involves your entry point, your confirmations, your exit point. And then as you are trading, ensure that you stick to your even if you are losing trades, okay, you stick to your plan. You don't start looking for the other shiny strategy, okay, and you go to another system and start trading that other system, okay. What you must understand as a trader is that there's no 100% strategy, okay. I've, I've paid over a million naira for coaching, for training. I've not seen a system that is 100%. I've not seen a software that is 100%, okay? The best you can get out there is about 60%, okay? So what makes you profitable as a trader on the long run is your consistency. Even if you lose a trade, okay, you don't let it get to you. Understand that this is a part of trading. Losing is a part of trading. Of trading as much as winning is a part of trading. But if you have a very, very good trading strategy, okay, and then your, your system is, let's say, even 50% profitable, and then you have good um, risk to reward ratio, you are still going to be profitable on the long run. The people that will be profitable in the Forex market are people that have that investor's mindset, that long term investment, okay, Forex is never a get rich quick scheme, okay? Forex trading is a wealth acceleration scheme, okay? It is not a get rich quick scheme. It is a wealth acceleration scheme. It is meant to help you grow your investment on the long term, okay? So I tell people that if you are not ready to leave your money in the Forex market for about six months, then maybe Forex trading is not for you, okay? If, if you want to double your investment in your first month, trust me you blow your money i can i can bet my life for you come to the mind to the fair market with a mindset of you know doubling your account if you are coming to the fair market with because you you know want to pay your rent in like the next three months you now bring in hundred dollars okay i get people chatting up every day that mr toby i have problems with my family I want to pay for this, pay for that, that I want to turn my hundred dollars to 500,000 Naira in the next four months. And I'm like, is this MMM? This is not MMM. <laughs> even, even, even MMM itself cannot give that kind of, you know, reward. So, and you know, because of greed, okay, people lose money. If, if you can just settle down, learn the skill sets, be consistent, Weigh your emotions from trading and trade, have a plan, stick to the plan, okay? You'll be profitable on the long run. We also have to understand that, you know, ticks of people that lose and win and lose in Forex is very, very slim. About 5% of traders worldwide are profitable because they don't have passion or something like that but you know a lot has to do with our our psychological our mindset and things and of course what also sets you apart access to you know high quality information access to mentorship okay so and which is why does giving you access to you know coaches that will help you Mr. Mayawa is my super mentor, okay? I watch it regularly on YouTube, you know? He does not know, but I mean, if he's in there, I, I, I keep close tab on him, okay? It's all that I learn wealth of knowledge, okay? He's the supreme of forex trading. <laughs> <laughs> he's supreme. 
<laughs> Let's all clap for Toby. Come on, everybody, clap for Toby for for that contribution. Can we celebrate? I think that's very important. I have a yeah. comment here, Zandal. Maybe he's referring to Gaia. Zandal, I, I need you to know that Gaius uh, promoted a platform and- Sorry, uh, Mr. Still, sorry to cut yeah. you. I'm not sure he's referring to me. So who is he referring to? Yeah, maybe you can- I don't, Are you referring to, I you don't, referring to Toby or Mayo? Who is he referring to? Zander? Can you ask the person? It can't be referring to me. Come here, I don't promote any investment platform. He said Gaius, that's what he said. He said he's referring to Gaius. No. You know, but, but this is my own point, um, um, Zander. First of all, let's even assume that is true. That somebody promotes, um, I don't think it's an investment platform he's talking about. I think you, if you can read this comment, he was talking about maybe he I was promoting. More than about to get my question, I was told that it can't be me. <laughs> because on the exchange, people deposit money to trade. I don't even promote any exchange because I have my own. Okay. So, yeah. um, so guys, I mean, uh, Zandal, I think you should check that aspect. But this is my own um, position on things like this. If you notice, I kept emphasizing we do not collect money from people, right? It's very important because, and one of the reasons why I kept emphasizing that somebody can create an account, put my name. <laughs> Tell me, please, that there's a background noise there. Somebody can create something, put my name there, tell you that you should put your money into. Don't do it. We don't do that. Okay? I can tell you that for a fact. We do not do that. Okay? We don't do that. What I do and I recommend, learn how to do it. Trade for yourself. You fail. You know you did it well. You lose your money. You know what you did. Very, very important. Please do not. So Zander, this is part of what I've addressed. Maybe you just joined us, Zander, or join us late. I addressed this in the earlier part of my training. It's not wisdom to give somebody money, okay, and then claim victim. I don't live a victim life. I, and I, I really don't like when people claim victim. Like Toby took time to explain to us just now how people come with a greedy mindset into this industry. You hear, uh, for example, conversation like Toby said, oh, Mr. Uh, Toby, I have $200. And you say, well, what do you, is your projection? I say, I have rent that I need to pay. So if I can turn $200 into um, $10,000 in one week, please help me. That is called pure greed. That's called being greedy, okay? And it doesn't help. And so when you now later come and say, Toby was the problem, Toby wasn't the problem. You were the one that was greedy. What you should do is what we are recommending. Join a coaching program. Learn, let, okay, if they have, if, for example, Gaius has been able to turn $100,000 to over 200 million, and that's a fact. By the way, you can do your research, that is a fact. So for me, rather than going to meet Gaius, Gaius, here's my money. I, no, Gaius, show me how you bought this thing. What, were the, what was your mind? What was the strategy? How did you keep it? Did you keep trading? Did you leave it alone? That is how you do this thing. So that true coaching, at least you, if you not even lose your money, you know that you lost it. It's not like somebody took it. You were the one that used your money to trade. And it always keep, gives you a better mindset. So, uh, um, and that's what I recommend again for Abdurrahid, uh, Abdur who is asking, sorry if I call your name wrongly. We are doing a coaching program that is a combination of both Forex trading and cryptocurrency. And Gaius will also be in that class to show you what he has done. And please, like I said, what we are doing there is to show you what we've done. You have the right to, to do or not do. For example, guys can come to class and say, there is a particular platform, there's a particular IPO that you can do, you can invest in. It doesn't mean you must invest in it. 
He is just advising you. So please, let's not create this issue of you then go and invest, and maybe that doesn't work, then you say it's Gaius' fault. Gaius is, please, let's, these things are, I took time, if you, if you have not watched part one, go and watch. I do not like people's approach. This is why I hardly teach on Forex or um, cryptocurrency, because of this attitude oftentimes that will come up with a victim attitude, a I don't know attitude, please, please. This is a business. You are an adult. Before you do it, be sure you are convinced this is what you want to do and that it's going to add value. But trust me, Gaius has built amazing wealth for himself and is probably one of the most uh, uh, transparent guys out there. I can beat my chest for him. It's not perfect. No business is perfect. If you go out there, probably somebody will tell you they don't like Stephen Akitayo. Maybe they bought land from him. They told him they want their money back and he said no. And the, the guy is a scam. Probably somebody will say that. But everybody's entitled to their opinion, right? What is important is what is the governing process. Before you join my coaching, for example, right now, I've told you I don't do refund. So if you come out and later say I joined their coaching and they didn't give my money back because I, I felt what they were teaching didn't make sense. Now, you, that's rubbish because we've told you from day one, don't do this if you're not convinced. So um, that is the detail again for those of you who are asking. It's, it's $10,000, first 10 people to join today. You get the opportunity to pay just $1,000, which is $400,000. The account detail is there. Once you make payment, send evidence of payment, phone number and email to info at stevenarkintyle.com. And for those of you who are just... Um, um, and like I said, um, um, somebody who raised an issue, you got thank God Gaius is here, he's told you he's not the one. So very important. And I, even if he's the one in my own view, that he promoted a platform, as long as it's not his own, it's not his fault if the platform doesn't work. I have promoted some businesses that didn't work. Are you going to, uh, uh, am I Jesus to have known whether those businesses will work? In fact, right now, I, my life has been so tough that it's difficult to recommend people anymore, right? Because you recommend somebody for something before you know if anything goes wrong, people will come at you and say, this person recommended, be careful, be careful. I don't like, I think it's a crap mentality Africans play where we like to play victim and it's not necessary, right? You are an adult, you know what you are going into, do it if it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, don't do it, okay? I'm not of you again are learning from this. If you are learning type, I'm learning, I'm learning. We intentionally put high risk investment in this. Okay, so that you can know this is a high risk kind of investment. You can lose money. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. But if this is what you want to do, the principle we're teaching you is how to make it work. Again, if you are learning type, I am learning. Yes. My whole IB is your turn. Please go ahead. Unmute yourself and your audio and your video. My whole IB, go ahead. My what's, wife. Up, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's <laughs> up? Great, great, great section all the time, Dr. Steven. I want to thank you for who you are, for your mind, for your kind of person. Everybody on the call, put in some 777. So, to celebrate this great leader, this great mentor, coach of coaches. Guys, put in some 777 on the chat box. What you celebrate, guys, you attract. That's the rule of success. What you celebrate, you attract. And that's, and that's what has made me and brought me to where I am today. It's a pleasure being on the call with you, Dr. Steven. I wanna appreciate you, Mr. Toby Okonoga, amazing leader on point, always willing to dish out. And um, a great leader, I'm also meeting for the first time um, online together, yeah, but I've been following for a while, Mr. Gels Chibweze, okay? Uh, I wish we were friends in 2011. I would have... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I could, you probably... I could, <laughs> You will be counting your 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 billions now, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you that I could borrow I could borrow one million. Toby Okunuga, I would have eh, you would have linked me up to rent money. 
to borrow money, I would have joined girls now. Eh? Would have been <laughs> million. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> but bro, good to around. meet you. I'm I'm excited. Gain a lot from your experience. Guys, I'm super pumped up and uh three things I'm gonna be sharing with us on this call today. Uh my journey has been rough when it comes to forex, and a lot of people say they want to learn, they want to be like Mr. Mayowa. And I try to tell let them know that you can't be like me because you're gonna go through everything I've gone through. Okay. So what you want to do is to learn from me. So you can't be like me. You, you know, I lost money to a level where I should not even be trading Forex again. I started in 2010. That was the first 2009 when I was working in the bank. And um, that was when I knew that the Forex market was there. And I knew that the banks were making huge money. As a matter of fact, I had an uncle who was in the trading unit of Intercontinental then. And when they share profit, my uncle makes good money because when they share profit as a trader, it makes good money, you know. But I wasn't trading for the banks and I just went on YouTube and I like tell people, see, you can't get the best free. Stop, stop deceiving yourself. You, you can start from YouTube. I started from YouTube. I went on YouTube. I googled. You see, Google right now, the best strategy to trade Bitcoin. You see hundreds of strategies. Google right now, the best strategy to become a real estate expert. You will see hundreds of it. Or can you sell that journey and get somebody who will shorten your journey? So number one, I'm going to share with you today, get a mentor. Uh, Mr. Gears, Mr. Uh, Toby, everybody has said a lot. Dr. Stephen did an amazing presentation. But I'm going to come from another view. Number one, get a mentor. Type that on the chat box right now. T type that in right now. Get a mentor. It's going to be, if it's going to be, it's going to, if it's going to be too expensive for you, go and save. See, guys, go and save, guys. Go and save. It's, if it's going to cost you, anything is going to cost you, just go and save. It could, it could take you two years to get it. Go and save, guys. If he's going to get, go and save. Go and just save to get that mentorship. You see, I didn't have anybody to reach out to. Forex was not common when I was, when I started. It wasn't common. So it was only on YouTube I could see a lot of junks. And you see, I kept learning. I kept watching. I kept, I kept doing a lot of stuff for myself and uh, uh, it wasn't the best. It wasn't the best. I don't want you to go through that route. So it could be very expensive, but you need to get a mentor. Okay. Now get a mentor that could route you through the best route. Hey, <laughs> good to see you, my sister from another mother. Sis, yeah, there's God. Though. Let's talk after this training. You know? eh? The way you are doing me, God is watching you on seven deal. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> so you need to get coach. You say something. I said, go ahead, go ahead. Bap, Don't let CMO be distracted. CMO can be okay. distracted with you can, our you can, you can say it again and again, sir. <laughs> so, guys, you need to get that. So. I learned, I watched almost all the videos on YouTube. I was working in the bank, downloaded a lot of strategies, downloaded a lot, did a lot for myself. But guys, it took me time to get it right. In 2017, after spending a lot, a lot, a lot of money, then I, I joined the community. I'm still in that community right now. And that is where I, that's what I do. That's how I leverage currently in the Forex market. And the second thing you want to do, apart from getting a mentor, is make sure, see, you don't grow big to start big. No, sorry, you don't, you don't start big to grow big. You start small. Everybody on the call, I see traders come online and they say they want to start trading with $1,000. What do you think? And I ask them, how long have you been trading? See, trading is different from investment. And I explained to you on Tuesday, when it, how to trade Bitcoin and how to invest into Bitcoin. Okay, but when it comes to Forex trading, you are not investing, you are trading. 
You buy biro at two naira, you sell at three naira. You you buy biro at five naira, you sell at twenty naira. You are true when it comes to forex. So when it comes to trading, don't start big. If you don't have if this, so let me share one funny scenario to you guys. A guy chatted me up, wanted to join my mentorship class about last year or this year during the COVID. And he said, I, I told him the fee. And he said, ah, he can't afford it. So about uh, two months after or three months after, I posted one of my analysis on Facebook, on social media. And he chatted me up that he has just lost 1.5 million. And his friend, Leod in. And I, I don't understand. I read that there again and again. Leod, you that could not afford less than $2,000, but you are you could afford 1.5 million and they lured him. So it, it was lured to, you know, put 1.5 million in something he doesn't know. And he said he has lost the money. So for me, that is not wisdom. So what you want to do is to make sure, put your money into education first. See, put your money into education first. You can do a lot for yourself. I tell people, Forex will take you minimum six months to 18 months. And um, this is my, this, if I count my years, when I got to know Forex 2009, this would be about 10 years, more than 10 years, okay? But when I started big time in it, 2017, is I'm still less than five years. But what I'm sharing with you is the fact that you need to have this. So don't start big, start small. Create a trading account of $200, $500 maximum. Go see the mistake you will do on a $500. He said the same mistake you will do on a $5,000. Put in I here on the chat box if you got that right now. Type in I here right now on the chat box right now. Put that in right now. Put that in right now. Put that in on the chat box right now. So the mistake you will do when you have $5,000 is still the same thing you will do when you have $500. So why are you starting with $5,000? I see people want to start a new skill set and they are putting the whole capital in it. Even uh, my brother from another mother, uh, Mr. Toby, he, he had to go and borrow a loan. Uh, sorry, get a loan, $1,000. I'm sure if he's just signing, he's just getting to know this now, he won't do it. it. Why would you go and borrow? Don't even borrow, save up. Save up. As a matter of fact, when you borrow money to trade, you will, you will not do it right. From experience, Two out of 10, when you borrow money to trade, you can borrow money to learn. You can borrow money put into education, put into acquiring of the knowledge. But when it comes to trading, once you borrow money, you will not be in the right state. And Mr. Toby said it to us that uh, um, Forex is more of, Forex crypto trading is more of business of the mind. That is why it can make you money. It can give you, millions of dollars but you would need it's a business of the mind it's a business of the mind so it's it's not a business of how i buy this one i make profit no when it is business of the mind it pays you for the rest of your life business of the mind so you need to understand how that goes and the third one is start now see some of us on this call you will you will be saying oh I'll start next week. See, 2020 started like play, like play. This is November, 11th month. We need to go like that. Start now. Yay, hey, Mr. Maywa, I can't afford $1,000. Go and just start with you two. No, you see, it could be rough, but you are starting. But because your mind is in need, when your mind is in need, God brings it to your hand. Okay, so go to YouTube, start basic training, basic. Don't go all those, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, I was sharing with one of my partners. I said, uh, I, uh, with, with my years of experience, I, 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 don't, I don't trade like retail traders again. I trade like the banks now, you know, why? Not because I have all the money like the banks, but they are the big boys that controls the, the volume. So that's why I put my money in. So guys, it's very important that Okay, you start learning to trade like the bank. It's expensive, it's an expensive cost to get it, but obviously, doc, um, uh, endorsement from Dr. Aquindayo 
we could get something done. That will be my time today. My name remains Maya will be. I'm glad to be on this session. Thank you so much for having me, sir. Come on, guys. Let's clap for the one and only Maya will be. Uh, an amazing mentee of my, I am always proud of uh, Mayowa and the successes he has today. So please let me celebrate Mayowa over and over again. Celebrate him, clap for him. Um, amazing here, said. So I want us to go into the conversation proper. I need the two of you, and you can just badge into the conversation at any time. Um, put on your video uh, and the two of you, and let's go into the conversation. And by the way, guys, if you have questions, feel free to um, type your question. Also, you already have the details for you to join the coaching program. My one, Toby, are going to be called trainers in the coaching program. We will bring guys also to come share with you guys how to invest uh, in a cryptocurrency. Um, now, I said something on Tuesday. How many of you are around on Tuesday? If you are in the class on Tuesday, type, I was here, I was here, I was here. Everybody talk to me. If you are around on Tuesday, type, I was there. Because my own gift to you in this coaching is some guidance. And I'm not going to be forceful about it. But trust me, it's going to change your life. If you are around on Tuesday, type, I was around on Tuesday. Remember how I told you guys um about the fact that you need to be careful um and probably starts um that towards christmas and new year that bitcoin is going to go down if you remember type i remember and you are seeing the signs now you're seeing the signs now i believe the current one is because of is because of thanksgiving in the u.s so i still believe that uh, by Monday, he probably will rise a little bit, and he may not. But please don't forget what I said. Whatever happens, if you're already trading Bitcoin, make sure by second week of December, you start pulling out, okay? I am a very successful investment coach. I know how to make, manage, and multiply money. And one of the things I'm good at is discerning and checking and knowing when and what. And these are some of the advantages of coaching, right? Because you're already doing something, everything looks good. You will learn when to pull out. I had the same as express where one of my mentee in Dubai, okay? You won't listen to me. He didn't join coaching. He learned, he got, just got the video, right? My video and started this cryptocurrency thing. You won't believe in seven months, he grew from $1,000 to 100,000 USD with $1,000, just from video, no mentorship. But because there was no mentorship, what I'm teaching them now was what happened. December, it still felt that January, ah, can you my loss, okay. Before you know, it drew, dropped from 100,000 to about, was it 60,000 or so? Then you had to immediately pull out 40,000, but it was still profitable because compared to what he started with, um, it was still a very profitable endeavor. So, Abdura Rahid is saying that can he pay an installment for the coaching program? The answer is no. For this one, no. Because I intentionally do not want to attract certain kind of people into the coaching program. It's a high risk investment. And left to me, I won't even go as low as a thousand dollars. I want people who are used to, who are mature investors. Because when you, in, when you attract um, newbies who are not mature, you know, you, you, it's almost like they get into the business, they start making money, just like Toby told you, first with his work, they get greedy, they lose their money, they blame you again. And it's just so, you know, pathetic. So I intentionally just don't want to even attract. Um, first of all, people who don't have enough resources, I don't want to. I don't think you should start with Forex and cryptocurrency. Start with other less risky investment if you are not financially buoyant. Start with other less risky investment. Uh, yeah, start with other less risky. Secondly, also, I want people who are who are least mature um, when it comes to investment because high risk investment, I repeat, is not for babies. It's for people who are very. It's profitable if you do it well, but you have to be even emotionally mature. If you are not even emotionally mature, right, you can't even do this kind of businesses. 
right? You can't even, you can't even do it. Uh, Kazim says, there's no business I can't do, but mm -hmm. I fear for it. <laughs> you know, and I agree uh, that you are afraid, but again, you only be afraid because you lack mentorship. What mentorship does is reduce that fear. Because when there's enough knowledge, knowledge, fear is always the absence of knowledge. When you're afraid of something it's because you don't know it enough. If you know it enough, you ain't gonna be afraid of it. Um, so, and that's again, why you should join the coaching program. And there's a lot you learn. But I want um, to bring both of you back, Maya Wa and guys. My name, and by the way, if you have questions, um, please keep start typing. So first question, guys should start. Uh, Kazim is saying, how does it deal with fear in a high risk investment like this? Another question I, I want to add to this is, how do you become emotionally mature in high risk investment? Because you guys, you do this full time, right? How have you been emotional maturity in this business? Yeah. So after Gaius de Maiwa. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Steven. So uh, in cryptocurrency, like I started by saying, um, first of all, you must learn how to control your greed. It's a, it's a very volatile market. In fact, uh, I did a research, which I am still doing, and I, and I discovered that 90 people, I discovered that 90% of the people that you see say bad things about uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, especially in Nigeria and, and uh, Africa, are those who didn't understand how it works before they got into it. Because it is a very volatile market, even though it's profitable, it can take you from $1,000 to $100. To, it, it can take you from $1,000 to $100 and from $1,000 to $10. And, and from $1,000 to $10,000 is very profitable and it's also very, very risky and uh, volatile. So one, there is something you made mention of when you, when you started this, um, when you started your presentation, you talked about uh, knowing how to manage your risk, especially using stop loss. Before you start a particular trade, you should have in mind the said profit that you want to make. I have, I, I have, I personally run an academy that I train some persons on how to trade. We just only train them. And one thing I do tell all our students is make sure that you make the stop loss your friend. You must, you must not be greedy. You must understand that if you go into a trade with the mindset of you can only accept 5% loss and you, can, and you can look forward to 10% gain or still 5% gain, don't go beyond that. So I think it's um, the the more you the more you trade and gain experience, the more you start knowing how to manage your risk. But for newbies, which I like something that you just said now, and I've always said this: Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies is not just for everyone, especially for people who are looking for what to eat the next minute. This uh, 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 Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies is not for them. Because imagine yesterday Bitcoin was uh, $19,000 and today it's going down to $16,000 and it might still go more. Now imagine someone that uses or her money that they were supposed to fit yesterday and today to buy Bitcoin. Imagine how that person will be feeling now that Bitcoin has gone down from $19,000 to where it is going now. In 2017, during the all-time high high of Bitcoin, we saw Bitcoin go from $20,000 to $4,000 plus. So those people that uh, 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 bought Bitcoin with their survival money, you see that those people, a majority of the people telling you today, don't go close to that Bitcoin. It is nonsense. It is not, it, it doesn't work. People don't make money from it and the rest. So especially for Africans, where the where 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 the, where where the capital is limited, majority of Africans don't have what we call investment money. What they have is money that they want to double. They have one thousand dollars to eat tomorrow, but they just want to to just gamble with that one thousand dollars to see if they can turn it to ten thousand dollars. So, this kind of people need to learn how to manage their risk. You, first of all, you need to get a mentor, as 
Dr. Akintaya said, you need to get a, a mentor that will teach you the secret of the trade by signing up for the course where, where he is going to be bringing experts that are going to be telling you what to do and, and how to do it. The truth is so many persons come and they say, uh, I can get all this information on YouTube. Uh, one of the speakers here said something, I think, I think it's my award that said it, and it's very, very important to note that if you go on Google or if you go on the, the if you go on the internet, the information is scattered because so many people are putting their views from right, left, center. But if you have a mentor that is someone that has succeeded in that particular business, the person already knows what works and what doesn't work. The person starts guiding you and showing you that. So, which is why I am encouraging those that really want to do this to take this up. Then, as a trader, you must know how to manage your risk before you even start and don't get involved with your survival money. So I think that is um, all I have to say for now, Dr. Kintaye. Again, can we all clap for Gaius? I really want you guys to clap for this because I didn't pay them to come here. And uh, when you see people come and share their wealth of experience, is something you need to appreciate them for. And I keep saying this, Africa and Africans need to learn to celebrate um, their heroes when they are alive. We built a culture of, of, of dog eat dog. We are always fighting each other. We're always looking for how to bring the next person down, always finding what the other person didn't do right. And there's no perfect human beings in the world. Imagine the president, current president of America. Imagine that that kind of person could be a, the president of America. It speaks to how what, uh, Westerners are a lot more, more appreciative of their person than a black person. I, I, could, I can't say how Donald Trump could have survived a Nigerian or African environment. Everybody would have pulled him down. And let's be realistic. And it's what we do in Africa. And it's why nobody ever become really successful. It's crap mentality. If one person is doing well, we must all find what we feel we don't like about the person. I see if we are perfect than those people. Look at most of 80% of the Facebook life that you see on Facebook. It's about complaining about one other Nigerian, either one Nigerian pastor who is a fraud, who is a devil, or one is always, and sometimes the people who take time to begin to bring down another person, don't they have a job? Don't they have a career? What have they done that is better than this person? They come every day to criticize. We must stop this African mindset. It does not help us. It does not help us. And later we come back and claim racism. But who was practicing the racism in the first place? Are we not the ones? Right? When you look at what happened, okay, people tell me about slave trade. How did slave trade happen? It took kings to be selling their subjects for Shina, for Miro, for, 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 for next to nothing. Kings were doing that. Who do you think sold, up, sold people off? That is one of the reasons why Black Americans hate people from Africa. They will tell you that your own four forefathers were the ones that sold our own four forefathers, betrayed our four forefathers, that made us to be in those these places. So the reality is this: it's a culture in our part of the world. I keep saying this: no human being is perfect. Let's learn to celebrate what is good about each other. If somebody is successful, comes out and start teaching you what he knows. Celebrate that part of him. Our Dangote is richer than. Then, I mean, I, am, I don't think I have 1% of Dangote's work. How many times have Dangote come and do Facebook Live? To even just even narrate, let him not even teach you how to do manufacturing. Just to even narrate how he started his journey and just to even inspire you that you can make it despite out of Nigeria. How many times has Dangote done that? Almost every day I do a show. Isn't that commendable? How many times has Hotel Dollar come to say, oh, I want to encourage young Nigerians just to inspire them? How many times? We need to work. How many books have these people even written? So, and, and this is why it now becomes difficult for Africans to become wealthy and genuinely want to help others or give back. Because 
Sometimes you ask yourself, do people even appreciate that effort? Do they? So please, again, let me appreciate my guest. It's important that you do. It's a culture that I want to create here. Okay? And I think it's important that we do. Please let me appreciate that. Mayawa is the next. Mayawa, please go. Answer the, the person's question about dealing with fear. And somebody else, uh, Tope has also said, key message, don't put your survivor money in Forex. Okay, uh, cryptocurrency, thank you for this session. You know, so Mayawa, you want to address that question and more importantly also how to get mature when it comes to high risk investment because there's a level of maturity that it requires. Mayawa, go ahead. Okay, sir, thank you so much. Uh, I'll start from how to get mature in this industry. I, I think the major, the major secret there is practice. Everybody on the call, type in practice. Type, type in practice. When I, started in, when I started my journey in the Forex market, one of the things that helped me was um, a four acronyms that I created for the people in our community. Number one is called process, how to do it. Number two is practice, how to grow in the practice. Number three is patience, how to wait through the process. Number four is profit. Now, what a lot of people do and what they want is profit. But if they skip these three, they will lose out. So I came up with the four piece of the wealthy people. Number one, they get to know how to do it. Number two, they practice how to do it. Number three is that they are patient to see the result of it. A lot of wealth creators are, con uh, a lot of wealth creators are, um, uh, are people, are farmers. They are farmers. And because they are farmers, it are, they know that there's always a waiting period. Anything you want to do in life, that you are not willing to wait for is not worth it. You should not start it. I learned that from a man called Warren Buffett, that I never put my money in anything that is short term. I put only put my money in things that are long term. And I really put that into my experience. And that has really changed it, changed it for me. So if you really want to overcome emotions and be stable, you need to practice. So let me do a case study for you. Uh, if you know how to drive, the first time you all learned how to drive, you will be shaking on the wheel. Two days after, you will still be shaking. But two months after, you will start driving with one hand. And the people outside will tell you, wow, what kind of smart driver are you? But they fail to understand that three months ago, two months ago, you were actually shaking on the wheel. The first day you sat on that wheel, no matter how strong you are, you were shaking. So what allowed you to grow and what allowed you to overcome that emotion was the fact that you were able to do it over and over again. One of the ideology I tell our students is that you must spend minimum 500 hours on your chart. See, if you are not ready to put in the time, if you're not ready to put in the time, don't start. At least you need to put minimum an hour to two hours per day. If you are very busy, but if you are hungry like the way I was when I started, guys, I went in three to five hours per day. I was studying. I watched the videos. I started again. I watched the videos. I started again. I watched the video. I started again. So stop saying somebody is smart. Stop saying that somebody is good at what it does. You need to ask the question, how many times, how many hours have you put into this? If you want to ask Mr. Steven, you have Dr. Steven anything on real estate now, you need to ask him, sir, how long do you sleep? How many books have you read on, on real estate? How many courses have you attended on real estate? And you want to talk about sales. How long have you, how many courses have you? Stop saying, Mr. Dr. Steven, you, you have money. Oh, Dr. Steven is a good trainer. No, 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 guys. You need to talk about the, the time is, he, he travel, he, 
the times he travels out to do the courses, the time he travels out to uh, even within to pay for the courses, and what has made him good, the kind of several mistakes he has done, you know, wrong investment that he has done to make him smart. Those are required to make money in a skill set that you don't want to put in an hour. You don't want to put in hours. You don't want to get your shed debt, dirty, but you want to get money to buy new shed. Come on, get, oh, come on. That is, that is strong. You don't, <laughs> you don't want to get your shirt dirty, but you want to buy a new shirt. No, it doesn't make sense. It is when one shirt is worn out, then you can get money for the real sh new shirt, okay? Uh, I, I, I didn't get the second question, Dr. Steven. Um, the second question I, is, how do okay. you become emotionally mature? uh to to become a good investor right because yes. even if we teach you all these things and you're not emotionally mature you put in your money and cattle so jack robinson right you you know um you know you just mismanage everything because emotion your emotion like toby shared how he was not mature he made it in the first week and just before you know he lost everything so how do you become an emotionally mature investor. This can my okay, so, post detail on Facebook. People are asking how to join on Facebook. Is that you post how they can pay for the coaching? So I, I think I've been able to establish that by telling people to practice. And um, I think the other thing that is very important is just start, start. Like I told you about the student that started last week, Thursday. I told him, uh, I told everybody on the class to make, uh, sorry, on the Instagram live to go and buy, just go and buy, just go and be saving your cryptos. Just go and be saving cryptos and leave it for the next five years, minimum or three years. Even the way Bitcoin is coming now, it's coming down now. Be putting 1,000 naira, 2,000 naira, 5,000 naira. Be saving it. Save it for the next five years or three years. See, Bitcoin is a bullish market. So what it means is that it will always go back up. The only, the only thing you need to do is to be patient and wait for it. So what makes you overcome uh, uh, um, challenges, uh, emotions, is start and start well. That attend I've been on a mentorship program or having somebody that will show you the mistakes that you should not do, okay? But start it, practice it, you know? Stop learning stuff and you don't start. A lot of people on this corner, they will listen Lally again. Says, how much can one use to start Forex trading? Lalleco. Okay, to start Forex trading, I recommend max, maximum $500. Maximum, minimum two hundred dollars. You can start trading with that because you have never traded before. Maximum five hundred dollars, minimum um, two hundred dollars. Why? Gaius, because you've never Gaius, done it before. Gaius can also tell us for Bitcoin. Yeah, what's the a minimum? Gaius. Okay, sir. So, um, in cryptocurrency, first of all, I would say the person should get uh, a basic knowledge of how of how it works. After getting that basic knowledge, you can commit $100 to $1,000 first for a start. And uh, you use that to watch the volatility of the market. And you see if it's something that you can actually, uh, 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 something that you can actually bear. Because uh, there, are, there are some times where you can watch your wallet go half in value. And if you are an impatient person, as my wife said, you must, in fact, in cryptocurrency, Bitcoin especially, if you are not thinking long term, don't get involved with it. If you are not thinking long term, if you're not buying it, our parents then used to buy shares and they would say, even though they were not married, they would say, I'm buying it for my children. So that was the mindset our parents used to use to invest. But right now, people want to put one naira today and by the time they sleep and they wake up, they want to uh, wake up on a Lamborghini or on a private jet. So in cryptocurrency, if you're not looking at one, two, three, four, five years, don't even start it because all cryptocurrencies go up. As my wife said, Bitcoin is coming down now. Guess what? Some persons that are smart, guess what they are doing now? 
they are buying. As I'm sitting down here now, I already said that if Bitcoin comes down more to, let's say, $13,000, it should auto buy for me. Because I have the mindset that even though it's coming down from $19,000 to that place, it's still going to go back up to $20,000 again. When Bitcoin dropped on the, on the 16th of March, when the global lockdown was announced, Bitcoin dropped from, I think, 8,012, uh, I think, 8,000 uh, uh, dollars plus to 4,000 something. So many persons were panicking and selling. But those people have been alive and saw Bitcoin go from that 4,000 plus to the $19,000 it was yesterday. So you can, you can start by committing $100 to use to understand the market. Then, as my wife said, you can start buying small, small as your money, uh, 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 according to your pocket. You can start buying small, small and keeping, but you must buy it with a long-term mindset. Thank you. So, um, Mayowa, can you give us your, by the way, again, for those of you who want to join the coaching program, you have all the details type. Can, um, again, um, I don't know that is Noah that is here or George. Please, those in Facebook are asking. Um, but I want you to give your final advice, um, Mayowa, and also share with us what you'll be teaching those who are joining the coaching program when they join. Unmute yourself, Mayowa. Okay, so thank you so much, um, Dr. Steven. Guys, it's going to be a great time for the ones getting started right now. Uh, uh, there's a lot you're going to be learning. One of the major things I will be sharing with us in that space is psychology of trading and how to compound your money. There's just a lot to learn in the mentorship program. You're going to be learning how to compound money. People ask questions. There was a particular time I, I posted how I grew $77 to about um, $2,000 in less than a week, let's say three days, you know. So that got a lot of my communities like, oh, God, oh God, no, how did you do it, you know? So the particular way it's done, and basically, like I said, practice makes perfect, you know. I'm good, you know there's a lot to learn, so don't let us blow the whistle, but you're going to be learning psychology of trading, you're going to be learning um, how to compound your money, you're going to be learning institution way of trading and going to be learning retail way of trading, okay? So there's a lot you're going to be learning in that regard. And one of the joy is the fact that you're going to have access to great investors that are already playing well in this. Space. That'll be my take. Then, guys, for me, the parting word is just get started. Get started. If you have the money, you pay. If you don't have the money, go to YouTube. Go and learn. Just start it. See, see. There are two things in life. The day you start is different from the day you decide. The day you start is different from the day you decide. The day you start is the day that you're taking it upon yourself that I quit. Okay? Now, the day you decide is that anything it will cost me, I will succeed here. A lot of time, people start, but they don't decide. Why? Because maybe they lost five dollars the next day. They say, "Ah, oh, I'm not doing it again." No, uh -huh. you are just starting. You've not decided. But I decide. See, when you decide, it's like you have burned the bridge. When you decide, it's like there's no other option. When you begin to treat your investment as if there is no other option, then you get to where you're going. Thank you so much. That will be my time today. I'm glad to be on the call. My name remains Major Wang Owolabi. Thank you so much for having me, Dr. Steve. Amazing. Again, let me celebrate my award one more time. So, guys, um, your parting word and advice for everyone and any information you want to give those who want to reach out to you, um, you know, or connect with you. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Steven. So for those of you um, who just joined, uh, after I finish introduce myself, my name is Gaius Chibweze, AKA Bitcoin Chief um, on Instagram, and Gaius Chibweze on Facebook. 
So for those of you that want to keep in touch, you can follow my pages. I also share tips on cryptocurrencies and trading. So, um, and, and they are free tips. So you can follow my page and get to get those free tips. So thank you so much. What's, what's your page handle? My, my page handle on Instagram is at Bitcoin Chief and it's verified. So the only verified Bitcoin Chief you are going to see because we have so many uh, fake accounts out there. The only verified. <laughs> yeah, the, only verified I like that. the only verified Bitcoin Chief. You are going to okay. see. <laughs> Any other one is a counterfeit. Definitely. Why you want to give us your social media handle? Okay, uh, my handle is uh, I am Mayawa. I am Mayawa Wolabi on Instagram and on YouTube, Mayawa Wolabi Street. I am Mayawa Wolabi on my Instagram and on YouTube, Mayawa Wolabi Street. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Thank you so much uh, for, to both of you and to be in absentia uh, for coming. I, I mean, I really, really do appreciate it. Um, um, you guys' presence. God will bless and honor you guys. Amazing having you come and love your passion to add value. Guys, for everyone who has participated in these two days, uh, thank you for coming and the Lord reward and bless you all. If you missed Tuesday's class, go to YouTube at Steve Actel TV on YouTube. Subscribe and watch it. So to share go and wherever else is asking, ask Steven Akita TV on YouTube, you will get the class there. I don't know why you want me um, to send you the class via email, right? I mean, that's extra work. You didn't pay me to even do this one, right? I do, <laughs> you see, I do trading for you for free. Now you give me a job to go and be sending the link to your YouTube. <laughs> so guys, come on, come on. Go to my YouTube page. Anything, uh, any training, just go to my YouTube. Ask TV like Style TV on YouTube. Subscribe and you'll be able to have access to all our classes. And for the coaching program, like I said, this is the detail to join. Um, that's the account details. And please note that we only have limited classes. It's ten thousand dollars after today, but if you are joining today, you can join for a thousand dollars, and you're good to go. That's the number to call once you've made payment. Products at stevenactel.com. Okay, your full name, your contact number, and your proof of payment. You send it to that details, and you will be added to the coaching program. We're going to be starting the coaching the classes in a couple of weeks. Um, we don't do reform. Don't forget that. So love you all. But in closing, how many of you have had a very impactful session in the last two days that we did this class? If you've had a, an impactful session, can you tap impactful? Can you describe and explain your gratitude the best way you want to? Um, you know, any best way you want to express your your gratitude, please go ahead. There's nothing wrong in appreciating, um, you know, um, what we've done. Remember, um, honor is not actually integrity. Honor is appreciating people for the good things they do, and it's a seed, and it comes back to you in multiple forms. Um, living a life of honor always creates more. I want to appreciate Maiwa and Gaius for honoring me and showing up. Maiwa is always there. Like you can call him any day, anytime. The very, oh, eh? Somebody wants to collect the honor from you. Maiwa, TMO says that, like TMO, that eh? if you don't be Maiwa, I don't be like Maiwa. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but thank you for always being there and showing up and your hunger for teaching people. I'm proud to be your mentor and forever proud of all your successes. Always, I'm always rooting for you. 
Uh, to Gaius, thank you so much, Gaius, for coming. And um, amazing session, you know, Gaius, God bless Gaius for all that he's done today. I appreciate you. And to everybody, love you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.